Welcome to United by Trucks. Today on this episode, well, we've got a unique, interesting spin on Submit Your Truck, We're calling it Project Edition. Basically, we took, went through a lot of the videos and determined which ones we thought were some of the cool projects that are coming up that you guys are building in your garage, that you guys maybe have just gotten running or still putting the suspension under or still doing a bunch of fab work, but we thought bringing you guys a Project Edition episode would be pretty cool. So that's what we've done in this one. This is Submit Your Truck, Project Edition. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up everybody? This is the current state of my 1993 Chevrolet S10. There's some more of it. It was originally a 2.8 liter V6 five speed truck and it will be an LS1 T56 Magnum six speed truck. It's on a 3.3 drop with one inch springs, two inch spindles, three inch uh, drop leafs in the rear, second gen S10 ZQ8 sway bars front and rear. It's got Speedway motors, tubular upper control arms, full Pro Forge steering in the front with a, a quick ratio Z box. Um, it's got a first generation Blazer gas tank in the rear. A Ford 8.8 .8 out of an Explorer, uh, 373 gears with a posi, rear disc, uh, <clears throat> front brakes are Camaro, fourth gen Camaro front brakes. I'm on 18 by 8s on 245 45s in the front, 18 by 9.5s in the rear on a 275 40. Interior of the truck. It's, uh, it's in pretty good shape. I've put a new dash and door panels and gone through the whole interior. It's got new carpet, dynamat. Seats are out of a fourth gen Camaro. Uh, steering wheel is out of a like a 1990 Chevy Cavalier. Uh, just kind of a simple, clean, stock looking, uh, all GM era appropriate interior. And I'm pretty pleased with it. Anyways, uh, the plans for the truck are to finish building it and drive it from here in Woodstock, Georgia and take it all the way out to the West Coast next spring, spring 2021. See a bunch of stuff I've never seen before through the windshield of something that I built in my garage. That's the goal. And if you guys want to tag along with me, feel free to follow along on Instagram as well as YouTube at Cheeky Garage. Hello. <laughs> my husband works offshore and uh, wanted to send a video in of his truck and I volunteered to do it for him. So here we go. This is his 84 C10 that he got for $400. When he got it, it did not have a motor or transmission. It was just all this stuff and it was a lot dirtier. I probably shouldn't have done the camera like that, but you know. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was a lot dirtier, 400 bucks, none of that stuff, just this stuff. And this stuff over here is as follows. Um, it's got a 2001 5.3 with a sloppy stage two cam, pack 12, 18 springs, a trailblazer SS intake with an eBay 92 millimeter throttle body and a VS racing billet 7875 turbski, choo choo China boy, Hiroshima hair dryer, whatever you want to call it. The transmission is stock with unknown miles. A 4L ADE with an HD2 shift kit and a Freak Show Performance single disc billet 9.5 inch converter. It's running a Holly Terminator. I'm going to it. X, uh, wait, Terminator X Max ECU, which is right there in the ashtray thing by the antibacterial wipes. Because Corona. Um, stock rear end with. 3.73 gears and a Spartan locker and cow track bars. This is off the top of my head, not on a script. Um, the inside is almost done other than the door panels and getting a few more factory gauges working. The future plans are to get the AC working and upgrade the brakes all around. And it's heck on wheels certified. What's up United by Trucks? My name is Brad Coleman from the San Francisco Bay Area. And I wanted to welcome you guys to my shop in my house and check out my 1968 C10, known as the CST. So starting up front here, we got a six liter that's gonna get an LS3 set of heads, uh, rectangular port heads. I've got the Speedmaster downdraft intake set up on it. 
The suspension is tubular upper and lower A-arms that I made. Uh, CPP, drop spindles, and disc brake setup. I've got a Davies Craig electric water pump. There's a remote mount water pump. The inner fender wells are factory inner fender wells that I've slightly reshaped. Raised them up. That way we can tuck the 22-inch transport wheels. This truck lace frame on the ground, it's bagged. It's got all slam specialties airbags in it. I've got full mid-length stainless steel headers that I made. So inside the truck, I'm running the factory buddy buckets. They'll all be reupholstered. I've got a dual diaphragm seven inch power master cylinder tucked away underneath the dash. That's linked up with a whole bunch of brackets connected to the brake pedal. I took the factory tailgate and tail lights and put it into the back of the box, make it look like a stock option from the factory. So this is my truck, 1968, the CST. Um, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Coleman underscore originals. And you can stop by, say what's up, ask questions. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't gone over, but if you see something that you like and you wanna ask questions about it, feel free to message me, say what's up, and I hope y'all like it. Hey everybody out there in United by Trucks land, this is Josh with CPR Ford Garage. I'm going to show you guys my 69 F100 build. Now this truck was abandoned in a field when I found it. It had been sitting out there for about 13 years not running. I got it running and drove it up here to Montana and then proceeded to tear it apart for my build. You can see I got front clip pieces here, cab. This is the bed that's going to be on it. I'm cutting it down to a short bed. And here is the original bed and the chassis. So it is a regular cab long bed, two wheel drive 69 F100. And just as most are doing these days, that front end is gonna get snipped out of there and it's gonna get a Crown Vic front end. Look at the patina on the hood, isn't that great? That's going to stay. We've got parts scattered throughout the shop. It doesn't look like much right now, but it should be pretty good when it's done. Got a new tailgate over there. Here is my Crown Vic subframe. Still attached to the frame rails. I've got the Crown Vic rear end as well, and that has 373 gears and a traction lock differential in it. I'll also throw in a picture of my previous build, a 77 F-150. That was a very nice original paint pickup that had, I had put uh, DGM Dream Beams on it in the front and an axle flip in the rear. It's CPR Ford Garage on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks United by Trucks. What's up United by Trucks? It's Steven Rogers from the Garage Built YouTube channel. I uh, just wanted to show you my truck because currently my hand is broken and I can't work on my truck. So I figured this would be a good chance to, uh, I guess, show my truck off that I'm building in my two-car garage here in Houston, Texas. All right, so here is my truck. It is a 1994 uh, GMC Crew Cab Long Bed Dually uh, 3500. Um, it's in pretty decent shape, 174,000 miles on the chassis, and as you can see in the front here, we have a 93 intercooled Dodge Cummins diesel. Um, you can't really see too great, but it is paired up on a billet adapter plate to an Allison 1000 six-speed transmission off of a LBZ, uh, which, because this was originally supposed to be a Duramax swap until I found out the engine was bad, and I went Cummins because you can buy the Cummins and work on them for much cheaper. Um, Sorry, the space is kind of tight. I you know, build everything in a two-car garage, but the final plans for this truck will be, uh, it's gonna have air ride, 22-inch uh, Alcoas, paint, and just be set up for a really clean uh, tow truck slash custom show truck that I can take my family to shows in. Has you know four doors and plenty of space. But just want something that I can reliably tow with and just have a cool show truck at the same time. And then that way I can trailer my next mini truck with it. 
So anyways, that's my truck and I appreciate the opportunity to uh, show it off. Uh, appreciate you guys and uh, you know, uh, if it's something you want to follow on with, uh, you can check out my YouTube channel where I do videos of me building this thing in my two car garage. So I appreciate it. Thank you. What we have here is a 1969 Chevy C10 riding on a full Porter built suspension. Got a 383 stroker, KRC pulley system, slosh tubs, slosh firewall, Detroit steel wheels, eights in the front, 11 in the back. Going for some side exhaust. Haven't run any of the exhaust yet, but Gonna go with some Black Widows, Race Venoms. Got a Boyd welding tank, Curry nine inch. Ride Tech's uh, HQ shocks. Accuary level. Been working on the bed lately. Center section will raise up, all wood. Been working on a little bit of a chair storage area. It's coming along pretty good. A lot of work in this bed. Be pretty neat at the shows whenever I finally get it out. Let me know what you think. What's up, UBT Nation? This is my 1963 GMC two-wheel drive long bed. The actually only rust in the truck is right up there above the windshield over there on the pillar. And then right down here in the floorboard. But the actual outer cab corner is not but another good thing about it is all the gauges work. As you can tell, she's low on fuel. Just starting to warm up. Plan is to uh, get her lowered, get her some better, better suspension parts, nice wheels. I'm a real big fan of Vision rallies. I did replace the wood bed. Sorry for all the trash. Haven't made it to the dump yet. But we replaced this wood bed floor about a year ago. And uh, I didn't do it up too nice. I didn't stain it and whatnot. It's because I appreciate actually using the truck that I'm driving. And I didn't want to put something too nice. It was just going to get ruined. Take a peek under the hood here. Got a small block 350 out of a 71 Chevy Caprice. Pretty stock. Nothing fancy, two barrel carb, manifolds, bare bones, but she's a runner. She'll do 70, 80 on the interstate if you need her to. It's a good old truck. Thanks for checking it out. Good morning, everybody. Doing this video for the awesome guys over at United by Trucks. This is my walk around of my truck, the Bastard. It's a 76 GMC with an 86 front clip on it. Wheels off of a 91 1500. B&M floor shifter with a homemade bracket mount made out of bed frame rails. Seats out of a 97 Pontiac Sunfire. 80s dash pad stripped down to the bare metal. Working on a switch panel and a custom bezel remove the bed floor because i want to have room to get at everything going to put a suburban tank big old wide tires going to lower it three in the front six in the rear want side skirt air dam bushwhacker fender flares i want to make it a wide body like the huna truck and my favorite part
91 454 700 r4 out of a 90s pickup and gotta love the homemade tilt front clip made complete with booger welds and door hinges gotta love the bastard all right this is gonna really be something special here this truck this fall i've had this truck 33 years first vehicle ever bought bought in october of 1987 450 dollars and i haven't even drove it to mount anything now since uh, 96 yeah the fall of 96 it's been sitting right here for about 11 years i started every every month it's got a brand new battery in it but anyway i bought that truck when i was 15 years old i've painted it myself twice it's extremely dirty from sitting here in the shop not very many people that's owned one for 33 years i think i overhauled that engine myself the first time i was about 16. from the time i was 15 to 17 i mean i just abused the only mode i knew was foot on the floor when i peeled out from somewhere or took off from somewhere GMC 72 it, it was a AC truck automatic and that engine in there right now is an AutoZone long block that I put in there in 1990 the year I graduated high school after that I drove it normal and treated it right so she lasted what's going on United by trucks it's my 78 GMC C10 I built it about 17 years ago and I sold it 10 years ago to get married. I was able to buy it back last year, get it back running. It has a stretch tailgate. Uh, I used two of them, welded them together to section it and get it out. Move the stock wheel tubs to the outside, raise them to the top. Completely smooth the bed floor, but it's going to be all redone. Has a five and a half inch traditional body drop because that's what everybody did back then before uh, building frames. So I kind of wanted to keep it that way. Uh, used to be on 22s, but right now I'm waiting to finish the whole body work and everything to buy rims for it. Has an LS out of a 2005 Silverado. It's got an LS1 intake. Speed engineering headers, DJM control arms, ICT billet relocation for the power steering and alternator. This is my love. I love this thing. I kind of regretted selling it, but not the decision I made to have a family. And it's wonderful that my daughter and I are able to rebuild it, and someday it'll be hers. So I really appreciate what you guys are doing. I love the channel. I love to do... Uh, more things to it keep people updated i'm on instagram at too low 78 and on tiktok and uh the truck's called papa tuck you guys stay safe everybody hope everybody gets a good recovery if they get it and let's keep these videos going thanks again got her running
right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed tuning in to this special edition, project edition of Submit Your Truck. We think there's been some really, really cool trucks featured in this video, and man, I can't wait to see when some of these are finished. They are just really, really cool. So if you're interested in submitting your truck to the channel so we can feature it here, please hit the link down in the description below. It gives you all the details on how to submit your truck. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. If you like what you've seen today, smash that thumbs up below the screen there and definitely leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite truck of the Project Edition is. And we'll catch you right here next time on United by Trucks. Cue the music. Thank you